Hello, man. As usual, I'll just out. <coughs> Shit, fuck. Um, as usual, I'll start complaining uh, by complaining about the sound. It's very hard to ask because as soon as I touch this, it turns everything down in here and then turns it back up when I go back in the menu. So being able to Google this does not really help us in any way or form. But yeah, this is Disco Elysium. Uh, it actually only showed up on my oogly uh, uh, not too far, uh, not too long ago. Uh, and it's supposedly, it, it, I don't know that much about it. Supposedly you play a guy and it's very planescapey in that what you do with him makes him who he is. So that's alright, so we're gonna create our own mate. And this is very hard to hear now, but the music gets loud all of a sudden, so I don't know. So there's a bunch of ways to make this man. You can revert him. Uh, I, uh, I was looking at the character creation a little bit, and trying to ask up what kind of man we want to make. And these skills, uh, these uh, stats, I think stay the way they are, but we can ask around with our skill. Uh, so if we just go next for a second here. So we have all these sub asses that start at, I think, the level of the stat, but we can ass up a little bit. So this is what we're sort of... Mm. We can sort up some ass here. Do we have logic? Yeah, we can only have one signature skill. So that goes off brain, which we do not have a bunch of shit in. Possibly, yeah. Uh, we should uh, try and avoid being a fiend. <laughs> uh, so we've got logic, encyclopedia. We regurgitate trivia. Yeah. Uh, rhetoric, talk shit. Uh, drama. We lie detect. Understand creativity. Visual cult kill this. We uh, we oogle. And then down here in what is this? Pisic. Okay, yeah. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Connect. Understand cop culture. Goddamn. Uh, authority, intimidate the pubic, assert yourself, mm -hmm. understand the others, inland empire, hunches and gut feelings, dreams in waking life, goddamn, <laughs> you pisk is fucking nice, fisky fuck, uh, keep your morale up, Hmm. And during the end, take the blow, don't let the word kill you will kill you. Pain threshold, shrug off pain. Physical instrument, this is how we fart. Oh, enjoy healthy organs or score. Electrochemistry, go to party planet, love and be loved by drugs. What the fuck? Shivers, tune into the city. What the fuck? We're gonna oogle these a little bit, uh, and then we're gonna fuck around with his stats. Let the body take control, threaten people. Straighten your back, keep poker face, composure. Uh, master machines, pick locks and pockets. Sneak under their noses. Stun immediate pancreas. Quick man. Perception, oogle shit. There are some strange images. I think we we might be a fiend. I mean, info as well. Cool for trick shooters, snipers, juggalos.
Mm, at high levels, hand-eye coordination makes you deadly, supposing you've got a weapon in your hands. But once you do, hand-eye coordination will compel you to take the shot, even if it's not the best approach. At low levels, however, you'll be more of a disaster in waiting, because when guns go off, and they always do, you'll probably hit the wrong target. Shit. Uh, deception. Fine detail, detective, sensualist, urban scavengers. Be open to the world with ears, eyes, ears, and nose working full capacity. It enables you to take in what others don't notice. Little water builds hidden the sugar bowl, the odor of a perp hiding beneath the floorboards, the gulp of a suspect claiming they have nothing to hide. High level perception takes in the final detail of a physical world, enough to overwhelm even the strongest mind. However, at low levels, you're going to miss out on everything. After all, you can't arrest what you can't see here, smell. Damn. Reaction speed, shot dodges, fingers on their feet, pinball heads. Uh, enabled you to dodge punches, bullet knives, also sucker punches of the verbal kind. What? Mm, you'll be more streetwise, never lost for words, lacking witty combat. Your mental alacrity allows you to connect little details on the fly. Goddamn. High level to reaction speed makes your twitch reflex freakishly good. However, when your body acts before your mind, innocent situations can turn back fast. You're high strung, overly alert. At low levels, you won't be what, the one shooting first, which probably means you won't be shooting at all. Aww. So being good at something also kind of makes us an idiot. There's something like one of the FAQs that were talking about the skills here talked about that. You could basically make your favorite ass detective, but you'd often be vulnerable to certain things. Like, if you, you could basically make Sherlock Holmes as well, with a bunch of logic and shit, but he'd be very, like, vulnerable to psyche and bullshit. Very good, eunuch. Interfacing, nice. Uh, yeah. High-level interfacing will isolate you from society. Why bother with people when you can talk to machines? Why bother with things like money when you can pocket this, uh, that display sandwich? No levels, however, you have a crucial uh, part of the world cut off from you. People use machines to commit crimes all the time. If you don't understand how a crime was accomplished, how can you solve it? Shit. Mm. Composure, high levels of composure makes you tuck your gut in and maintain a stern expression, even lying in bed late at night when no one else can see you. You'll have to keep it up. You'll never be able to stop with low composure though. You'll always be the first to crack. Every cop's got a point where they in rage comes spilling out. God damn. So we have to pick one of these as our signature asses. Ow, half light. High strung investigators. Shoot now and ask questions later, cops. Surprise haters. Mm, high levels. Uh, Half light makes you ultra attuned to the world. It, it is perpetual fear of your own shadow, someone else's name or scent. You'll be ready always to pounce and physically interrogate passersby. At low levels, however, you find survivalist instinct is lacking. The method limp wristed. Those who respect violence will not respect you. Damn. Anger cop. Maybe. Mm, she was uh, city lovers, the wisest of streetwise, genuinely supernatural, supranatural, high level she was may make you seem mad to the world. As you listen to the city, you don't listen to others, your superiors may begin to worry. Low shivers. Though you may seldom hear the world, city speaking to you and you cannot hear it, how can it ever save you? God damn, electrochemistry. High flyers, party enthusiast, cops who need who need light lightning makes man of unrestrained pleasure and unpetrublant live for what the fuck you're basically a fiend low electrochemistry you'll be too innocent to be effective without a working knowledge of drugs and sex the city will be difficult to understand ouch mm -mm. Physical instrument. Physical instrument breaks doors, chains, and bones. 
It makes you laugh at the Namzi Pansy who can't. You man up, encouraging others uh, to curl iron until they manned up too at low levels. However, you'll have a hard time arresting anyone who isn't uh, infirm or already dead. Indeed, engaging in physical confrontation could leave you in either state. God damn. A high level pain threshold turns in on itself in a seriously unhealthy way. With full on self destructive behavior, with low pain threshold, however, you'll suffer too easily. Even the slap from a teenager will make you whine and complain. Damn. Mm. Endurnians, high levels, enables you to take a few knocks to the head, enjoy greater quality of drug. God damn it! Take off a few cardiac arrests. It makes you a powerful man who looks down on weaklings who can't keep up. However, cops with low endurance are likely to struggle. Body is frail already, and the flesh of a cop will often be tested. If you don't pass, it dies. Um, sane people, well adjusted, non suicidal, urge you to be a good guy to others and yourself, enables you to resist temptation, be in a bottle. Uh, high levels religion makes you hyper sane. When you're about to get funky, it keeps you normal. It's a bit of a party poop, but at low levels, however, you'll have little morale. Without it, you'll be a profoundly unstable cop, fail, uh, falling apart at the seams. As you make an irrevertible mistake. Empathy. Really puts the other people's shoes. You'll cry for their sorrows. Punch walls to relieve their angers. And you'll be an even more unstoppable cop. With low empathy, however, you'll be an ungainly beast. Unable to talk to anyone without upsetting them. Authority. Demand respect. Perceived slight could send you into a knee-breaking mode. With low authority, however, you're forever in the awkward situations, like when you suffer psychological breakdowns after you yell at teenagers and they laugh at you. Good old Talans. At high levels, you'll be uh, very hard at the police force, not only willing to, but able to be obliged to take a bullet for your partner. However, without the spirits to the crops, you'll be flying blind, unable to understand discreet remarks uh, colleagues make in high stakes situation. The marks that might save your life. God damn. High level suggestion makes you able to uh, affable to everyone and more resistant to their charms of turn. And with all that smooching and oozing charm will make you slimy. And you'll know it even if no one else does. With low levels of suggestion though, you'll be you'll have difficult getting any kind of rapport with others. Rapport. You'll be alone both during the day and then the night. <coughs> Logic. Logic would be able to say, I'd be very proud. For those blinded by their own brilliance, often miss important clues. With low levels of logic, you're going to have a hard time solving even the simplest puzzle. Even if you find the pieces, good luck putting them together. Shit. Encyclopedia shares it is wealth of knowledge almost to a well degree. Might give you crucial breakthroughs, more often will clutter your mind with useless tidbits. With low levels of encyclopedia, though, you'll be forced to work with clues in front of you without background knowledge. Carpenter. Hmm. I'll ask men's opinion on what kind of man we're, we're to make when we're done here. Gone through all of it. At high levels, rhetoric will make you an impressive political beast. One whose beliefs are impenetrable, which is to say whose mind will not change. One who, one, one who will calcify. With low rhetoric, though, you'll be a hard time of shooting down any argument. Nailing people with their testimonies will be nigh impossible. Nay. Oh, kitty, you're right in front. There you go. Drama render you an insufferable thespian, one prone to hysterics and bouts of uh, paranoia. For the world is a stage, uh, is to know that the truth is vanity. However, with low drama, you cannot lie or discern when others lie, and a cop who doesn't, who can't do either, is a cop who's going to be lying six feet. God damn it, Cons Neptune, it makes you big. Uh, it's ostentatious, demanding grand displays. What? Well, critics and crackheads. While if life when you can throw yourself into a volcano at low levels, however, you will be unable to see the world in creative light and you'll be able to contribute conversation in a fart gallery. Only boring people will invite you to their dust parties. I hope we won't be a fiend. Uh, forensic scientist. High levels of world reveals its secrets to you. May be able to absorb by your own mind diorama, but you won't notice a crook steal your pants. However, low levels, your mind's eye will be blind. Reconstructing crime scenes will be difficult without outside help. 
Hmm. What kind of what kind of ass shall we go for? So the way the skills work, from what I can tell, is we pick one, which is going to be our signature, which is kind of like a tag skill. Uh, but at the same time, we have all these stats, right? That we can ass everywhere to ass up certain things. Uh, in these. And, like, we get one level in things per stat in it. So we can make sure we don't get completely asked. I mean, visual concepts and perception seems nice to me. I don't know what the men think. Are we gonna make a guy that's really good at one thing but completely shit at everything else? So we're gonna try and make some sort of adjusted manner. I refuse to be a drug fiend though. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I think that'll punish you as well. I think uh, our starting stats set the maximum possible we can get in things, even if we level it. I think actually that these uh, these aren't leveled at all. So this is an empty dot, and that's the cap of the things. So we can only really, we can only get them up to the uh, the point. I think. Hmm. I think Volition and Endurance probably is, is two things that are good, so I'm thinking we're gonna put some points there at least. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Red's body. We don't want to get fucked, I think. Mm. We could ask this one down and maybe get some more some more bullshit down here. Be Mr. Quick at shit. I wanna keep this one at three simply because I don't want to uh I don't want morale or whatever to bin itself. We don't want to be completely dumb either. The top line does, yeah. Mm. I'm thinking something with this shit down here. Yeah. Like visualization and the perception I think will uh will pass will, will work well together. I think if we ask two there, uh, we have one more point then, and then we have to pick a master ass that we want to focus in. I think this thing, the signature, yeah, the selected skill, I think we get one point in, but it also raises the max of everything else. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We get some Oogle here. Enough to overwhelm, but the strongest mind. Yeah, so I think we, we probably have to have a bit more volition if we're gonna be Oogling that much. Three is good, I think, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, kid it. Set that one a signature. Yeah, we start with one in it. And that... Did that ass everything up? Yeah, everything is now a five ass there. So the question is, where do we put the, the, the next point? Endurance or logic? Or brain or physique? I mean, we can't really be a wimp, can we, either? 
if the total max total you can have is six in a thing yeah yeah I'm I'm either brain or physique for my ass because there's there's a lot of these I think where we'll just cave and they'll probably work well with these with the physique and it'll also mean that we probably can spend more time assing Hmm. Yeah. I think I might I might physique. I don't know how dumb two brain is, but yeah, the, like visual and that the, those ones together would be very nice. But it says overwhelm but the strongest mine. So I'm thinking that has probably to do with volition. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, kitty, come here. Don't flute, kitty. Hmm. It'll also be well. Fuck it, let's go. I have no idea what to expect. Except a lot of reading. Why is the begin button there again? What's the meaning? There is nothing. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Uh, it talks a lot about being like Planescape, so I think the man has a name. But the, I think there's an amnesia angle to it. So, like they they say, Planescape is one of the big, the big, uh, the big uh, inspirations for this, which is really cool. So if you ask up Planescape, just for reference here, uh, Planescape Torment was a game about a guy that couldn't die, but every time he died, his uh, well, he would come back to life, but his memory would be wiped. And uh, depending on your stats, you could do a lot of stuff in conversation. The more wisdom you had, the more likely you were to remember things from past lives. So you would be able to, you'd be able to sort of use a bunch of skills that you hadn't actually learned yet, uh, and all sorts of crap like that. It's a really, really good game. It's a fantastic story. Uh, like. It's the best amnesia story, I think, I've ever, like, those are cliched and usually overdone and shit, but uh, Planescape is really fucking good. It has a fantastic story, and I'm not going to spoil it, so. Okay, so our reptilian brain is uh, talking to us today. Eva. Never, ever. Never ever ever? Simply keep on non-existing. Uh... Yeah, uh, another note. Planescape also has the, I think, last credit. That's not New Vegas for uh, Mark Morgan's soundtrack. Very good. Let's keep on non-existing. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Thank you. I sneeze. Uh, considering where the chat is, I should probably actually move. You get to be over there. I mean, we're perception man. That is fairly grounded. I refuse to be drug fiend, so uh, so I don't know. 
I know you do, baby. I know. Yeah? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Alonzi, let's go. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wait, wanting things from people who don't want to give them for me. What? What the actual fuck? Let's go, I guess. All right, nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Can I ask the volume up a bit? Look this, I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? A return trip to silence, please? Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Wait, no, I need to belittle myself? Sing me song. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Alright. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting. Longing, dancing to disco music. The way he says conscience, it's, it says conscience, but he says conscious. Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking we are tapping into some old memory in our brain or something. Help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. A stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Fuck. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Uh. I believe that's us. What a creature. I got little beepers. Well, we look creepy as shit. Let's just save because I'm going to forget about all the stuff we did. Can I name it? Ass, yes. What a way to fall asleep. Look, how do we function as this guy? God damn, he's got spindly legs. What do we have here? Those are our skills, okay. Level up. Not enough skill points available. This is making a weird, weird noise. The interface. It's sort of clattering, clicking. Kind of like a, a crab. Oh, so we have morale and we have health. And I'm assuming since we have three in both of those stats, we have three... Okay. All pants. Take. Electrochemistry. Savior fair. Okay. Okay, we immediately on pants ourselves. Yoink. Can I not choose what to... Uh... Oh, here we go. Disco ass blades a score. Mm. Bonus from items, less for savior fare, sneak under the nose and stam, flare cut trousers, ass is this, electrochemistry, okay. Okay, so we get a little bit more uh, cop stuff. Probably should wear a shirt under there, I look like a fucking deviant. I look like someone who woke up drunk. Shirt, shirt. 
Oh, you hear a jingle. The keys are clicking in the pocket of your flame cut pants. Fist them out. Oh, perception. Uh, perception. Sight. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched onto it. It should open the door. Okay. Right away, our perception asses. I said, okay, someone drugged us. Magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Shoes. Do I not have a shirt? Left foot. Green shoe, left foot. I only have one. Helder? Held R, held left. Oh, I see. Does that do anything for us? Shoot, nah, we're not a fiend. I didn't, I didn't create no fiend. I take the thing. Cassette tape. Uh, there used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about uh, Ethany single smallest church in Saint Saints. It must have rubbed someone the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in 43. Yeah. Shoe? Someone went, tore out the tape while the song was playing. Someone's fucking vandalized this place and drugged us up in it. Google out the window. Broken window. Uh, the window stands in broken frame, cold wind blows in visual calculus. Always loses, always win. This is a white check, you might retry it. Oh yeah, I think I've read about that. White checks you can retry once you've leveled up, much like Pathfinder. Uh, move the chat slightly above his face there. Red checks are one time only, so we can't, can't redo that. Mm. Let's try it. Hey, we succeed in eight. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from inside. Okay, so so whoever drugged us has fled out the window. Uh, did I break this with my own hands? Look at them. Fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than an object. There's no... F a good man, visual calculus. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling the tool back uh, in after impact. <laughs> Asses the size of the impact, nice. It's too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Well, not a shoe then, right? Single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as if as well as your foot, it will be uh, almost, it, it would have been, also have been heavy enough if thrown with force. God damn it. Yeah, good man. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. I didn't do this. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to, uh, to it should be outside your room. Well, I'm going to be walking around in glass with one shoe. That's not going to be good. Maybe it wasn't me? You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? Yeah. Let's go get that shoe. New task, find your other shoe. Broken window. We got an experience. Mm. That is true. Got some of the old XP. Ah, so... Get a skill point at 100. I'm assuming this works kind of like the... Uh, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the council. Where we have, like, we roll two dice on visual calculus. So I'm assuming 
that's those two there. I don't know what happens if we get points in it at all. Uh, what kind of how that will affect the dice? Fun though. Let's see if I can. Uh, do we have a quick save? We do. Okay, good. So I don't have to ask as much. What's that up there? That tie. Ceiling fan. There's a fan has uh, two chain pull switches. Savior fair medium. Grab that as a whiten. Uh, the other light pole, a truly horrific necktie, some uh, has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Mm. Grab the tie. Come on, you bastard. Yes. Mm, medium success. Medium success. Oh, that's the difficulty, I see. Okay. Uh, so, a medium 10, your total, save your fare, well, I don't know what the difficulty is. Our total is 10, medium 10 versus hard. Oh, I see, so we got 10 plus the 3. Okay. You swoop up and catch the tie, snap, it released from the, it is released from the blade. Yeah. This, 10 was also our roll, which confused me. Mm. What you have in your hands is truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Pull the fan. Blades come squeaking to a halt. Pull the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. Practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Bring it right the fuck on. Ah, shit. Shit. I hurt myself with a fucking light. That's not great. We're wearing the necktie. Oh, it actually gives us Inland Empire. No, no unfits. I figured we could get some some fancy for tanking it. I guess not. Uh. I should go get the the shoe actually. Oh, I see a thing. Would fail to describe how rank the smell in here is. They should have sent a poet. Oh, I could have had poet and asked. Bottles in the bathtub, beer, wine, and sweet liqueurs. This Dr. Gonzo was here. Ah, fancy. Got a shirt. Now no longer look like a fucking as much of a deviant. Shirt. Suggesting goes down or conceptualization goes up. Nice. I'm gonna try and go as much as possible with with the flow here, so uh, I'm gonna not reload taking that damage. That's a, is that a door? What's this? Mirror. Mirror hangs a bent broken sink. It's f in a fierce discharge of masculine energy. Someone has ripped half the faucet off. Oh, what a man. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just the outline of a man. Ah, I see. <laughs> it, well, if if the if you fucking take damage a third of your goddamn health from staring at a light bulb, turning on a light bulb, get out of my gene pool. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor. Really nothing? Really, all recollection of the person you are, all the people in your life, and even the world you're in, that's drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. That was no mere night of drinking, it was a deluge. Of world ending proportions. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Inland Empire, easy success. Abort, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there. You will never unbecome it. Uh, Inland Empire is what again? Is that the thing telling us that we're dumb if we do this? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Gut feelings, dreams, and shit. Animate the inanimate. Maybe. 
I think it might be a way of getting an actual character portrait. Maybe I should think it through first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Hmm, what do you think, man? Do we oogle or do we not oogle? Meow, meow kitty. Meow. Uh, how can we touch face, you think? Touch, oh, touch it first. There's nothing wrong with my face. Let's have that. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. What's wrong? Where do you even begin? There's this bloatedness and the swollenness. It's like an upholstery of alcohol and leafy skin. God damn it. Kitty, come here. Kitty. Are you suggesting I pick certain things, Kitty? Uh, it's like an upholstery of alcohol. Is this where the stubborn skill would have been good, I guess? I'm scared. At least my tongue is okay. Touch tongue. It's not. It's swollen snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. I'm sorry. Touch nose. Yes, kitty? Uh, bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. Doesn't appear to be particularly tiny nose either. Not with the, all the drinks absorbed. It's absorbed for you. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Man, like, kitty, come here. If you go on my lap, you'll probably stop making meow. Come here. Oh, oh she's Nando's. Wipe the mirror. <laughs> Fuck. Behold. Well, we look very sickly. Hmm. I have no idea who this thing is. Do you? Hmm. I think I've seen screenshots where he looks different. Oh, I caught you kidding. He looks kind of happy. Alright, nudes. Uh, it's a phase of a late stage alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it, the face is making it itself. Please stop, it's horrible. You're scaring, scarring yourself. Oh, I'm having a conversation with the fucking mirror, aren't I? I'll, st I'll stop the face. Oh my god, you can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. Yeah. What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom? It's indescribable? <laughs> for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think so I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has-been kind of way. There's uh, an expression of pain. Uh, I'm thinking four or five here. An expression of pain. I think uh, maybe if this has impact on later stuff, it'll probably mean that when we have when we have pain later, we'll grin like a fucking idiot. I did burn myself, yes. Expression of pain, sure. The hell happened there? Five experience. You are correct. Okay. Oh shit. Uh. Well, these are both white, so we can go back to them. Dig deep into your... Oh, encyclopedia. Oh, I see. Uh, formidable 13. We did a medium on the other one. Okay, so dig deep into your mind to try and look at the source of the expression. I fucked this up, yeah. Yeah, we need to open this up again. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. It's not, uh, that's all you know for now. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. 3%. Yes. Shit. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. 
would take a minor neurolo neurological miracle for you to cease producing it shit. Is that the face of an oogler? Is the question. Is that is that how an oogler looks? Ah, kitty, what the fuck? It did tell us to maybe wait with the thing. In uh, in Planescape, that would be one of your past lives telling you that what you're about to do is fucking stupid. Yeah, we can maybe stop making that face later. For now, let's tank the face. It's kind of hard to hear stuff now. Yeah. Well, we have a face. Uh, what else? We can dig around with this thing. Probably going to try and find a shoe first. I'm assuming we we go out through here. Is there is there a door over here? We are very slow, speed wise. So what's this door? Google this thing as well. Still rolling, empty. Can we... Nah, okay, well. Mm. Trundle about. I wish I could stop fucking... That's locked. Wait, we, d we found a key, didn't we? Or do we have to get the key from the pants? Electrochemistry tight around the crotch. Tight around the fair. What, wait? Tight around the thighs gives us less to save your fair, which is what I don't forget. Sneak on, oh yes, less sneaky because it's tight on the thighs. Tight around the crotch gives us more to love loving going to what? How is constricting your crotch help? I thought we. Oh, we have uh, we have a key. That's right there. I see. Yeah, it seems like. Fuck. Well, okay. Kitty. Okay, I guess if you're gonna lie down there, that's that's fine. I'll save. Attempt to function with the door. It's fairly expensive, yeah. Oh, we walk normally now. Or if we go back inside. No. Nope. How the hell do I get out there then? Here, yeah, I guess. Something on the table. What is it? It's mine, I guess. Real money. Yeah, I gotta gotta walk proper. Thank you, pronunciation. Oh, I see something. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Oh, Jesus, fuck. It can't seem to decide on the uh, the volume. Oh, I don't see the broken ass. Guess the briny wind washes over you. That was red. I guess it's some other ass. Ah, oh, composure and Xavier there. Yeah, sneakery is not not the greatest. Don't think that face is helping. Find the other shoe, Composure. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both conspicuously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited with your feet. How do they fit? Heal morale. Well, good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like good, uh... Feels like only good things uh, about, uh... Feels like the only good things about you right now, truth be told. Okay. She.
All right, Fraggle. Sawaya so Fair. Maybe. Not very sneaky list currently. Wonder if we're gonna get binned for not locking our door or something. Is that a door into the other room maybe? Uh, it seems like he unlocked it again. He doesn't seem to have any comment on what's going on. The door. Ah, smart man. Carla said it's March and the year is 51. Alright, Eunuch, enjoy. Happy birthday. Hello, officer. Hello. And turn the gate. Kalshi? Miss Orangi, disco dancer. Young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Fiend. Perception, success, her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. What a guy. Turn your bloated face away from her and her beauty and keep just keep on walking. Who could say no to this man's face? Look at him. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. He seems perplexed. Then why do you call me officer? Well, she probably knows we're police or something. Because you're a police officer, sir. You sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. The most valium woman. What business is this? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. <laughs> Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. Let's not. We are not a fiend. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything? This probably shouldn't talk to her about that. Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow to cigarette sizzles. Perception. She hasn't had the time to put on her makeup. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning fast. Faster than it ought to at her age. Oogling. Who in the right mind would make me policeman? Yeah, seduction. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. I should go. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. NP. Something stirs in you as he's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. Looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. I have some questions. Yes? Uh, what do they have against, uh... Your room's right next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus, he shrugs. Loud disco music. Does that have any visitors? Uh, I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. She nods towards room three. Loud disco music. Uh, yes, various artists, ostentatious orchestrations, prime among them. Do you an eyebrow waiting for the, the name to connect with you? Oh, they were huge where I came from. I was very young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard, she sings, but we do go on. Yeah, we go on, all right. Yeah, uh, very quiet now. Uh, I don't know about that. At about two o'clock, uh, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace what happened. A sad slow song started playing like an organ like organ music on repeat 
that went on uh, for a little while. Some of the time you were yelling along to it. It was a sing-along, show her. Was it this, show empty cassette thingy? Yes, there was, uh, there was a church in here and there, a really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the world. It was about that and also, what else? Uh, that it doesn't matter anymore, that the... And that we are alone now. It was difficult to tell, the song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. What a deviant. I'm sorry. Don't be, I was going out later anyway, it didn't bother me. What happened then? Shong like struck one hour, yeah. Then you started screaming and thrashed the place. You sure it wasn't being assaulted? No, it didn't sound like there was a fight, it sounded like someone was thrashing the room. Uh, a window was smashed, the tape player uh, probably, the sound stopped, the furniture uh, and furniture too, a real dist uh, destructathon. They were screaming, then I think you passed out. Was there anything else? Uh, there was, I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard. It was sort of memorable, always our uh, thing with the reptile brain. I went out afterwards, everything was quiet by then, around 4 or 5, she nods and that was it. Alright, what do they have against the police here? Uh, the dock workers are pretty cocky, they think they're police enough, at least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. What exactly is here, where am I? Yeah, I don't know. I think we might sort of have... Like... I think this conversation could have gone in, in various ways. Like, we could have been very... We could have been an aggressive asshole that just didn't want to tell these things because we might have taken offense or something. So that might have been her, like, starting statement in case that was... That was the case. Uh, where exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. Uh, where are we? Where in the world? We are in Revashold. Uh, so that means something to me. You sure look like you're from Revashold, Revashold parties. Uh, is it 51 now? It's 51. What century? The current century. What's that? What number? Centuries don't have numbers, they have names. And this is the current one. Are you being Nando's with me? How many centuries have there been then? Civilizations have existed for 8,000 years, sir, she grins. What's so funny? You're right, her expression turned serious. It's nothing funny about civilization. Hmm. Glad to have been of assistance. What a creature. Nearly dead man autosaves. Where's our XP at? We're getting there, getting there. I wonder where our first point should be spared. Oogla Nation, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like the nice, soft, long stub in the ashtray is still smoking. Electrochemistry, so pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up and smoke living shit out of it. Nah. Fuck that shit. I ain't a fiend. No interaction with door. I guess only green stuff. It's very quiet. I guess I can knock on her door and bother her some more. This weekend edition of satirical newspaper, Trump the Mondi. Nothing on the front page rings a bell, strange. Hmm, I think that was one of our... Uh, the green's our brain, isn't it? Yeah, our intellect. Nothing rung to bell. Shit, well... <laughs> Cooper plastic bag, collect bottles, sell... God damn. Did we just get a weenie host? I think we might do. Oh shit, is it panning on its own or is that voice on the keyboard? Kitty! 
I'll save on ass, just in case I somehow manage to kill myself with more lamps. Kitty, for fuck's sake. Put this thing. Summer door closed for the winter. I see. Do you have a bird? The fuck? Is where the lyrics would be? What? Oh, I see a holy thing. Big karaoke mic waiting for someone to sing into it. Google speakers connected to the radio. The music seems static. Brain, Inland Empire. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get, your emotions need to be expressed. People need uh, to know of the, your vast oceanic soul. God damn. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course, at this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. What should I sing when it comes to it? So sing a sad small church song from the tape you found. Well, it was obvious. Maybe I sing something happy. No, no, don't sing a happy song, it's stupid. Sing the sad song, it's profound. Alright, victorious. New task, sing karaoke, shit. I was hoping we could dismiss it afterwards. Finish for it. God damn it, I don't want to sing karaoke. Get hold of a sad song on tape. Preferably in the evening when there are more people. Fuck's sake, okay. God damn. Hello, guy. I rotate. Garty, the cafeteria manager. A man in his late 20s stands behind a counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. I see. I wonder what flavor it is. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. Empathy. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposefully ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no. You're a hero. A real hero, cop. Oh, thank you. Logic. Could a massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? You're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? What body? <laughs> I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. You're right. You didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. What have I been doing all this time? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. Looks down again, keeps plucking at the bird. Look at the stuffed bird. The competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabirds lies among piles of coasters and drying bugs. One of his wings broken, the man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was, uh, that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Google, a small... Mm. A small engraved steel tag says, the great skewer. Still carrying you a skewer. Something makes us feel bitter. This is our cop sense telling us we're bitter, I think. Or is, is that cop sense? I keep forgetting. No, it isn't. This is our hunch feeling making us bitter. Not um. That's the great squirt, right? Look. Your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? Pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird. What an ass. I wanted to help with your fucking bird. Piece of shit, prick barber. Water cooler, a large bubble is rising to the surface. Oh, nice. We can uh, re ask this health. 
I'll keep that with me in case we get something else that automatically asks us our health menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. Having Mondays, are we? See if our Google perceptionates anything here. As I ask around. This is a drunk fiend. Ball of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. This sugary black rum stains the counter, makes it teary eyed with joy. <laughs> it's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? An hour, I guess. Sweet lord, a whole hour. You haven't uh, thought about rum and lemonade in all that time. You truly uh, extinguished all trace of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually I should might be thinking about this. Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. <laughs> Fucking shut up, electrochemistry. Nandosing me. Uh, I feel about that. Get a goddamn rum and lemonade into yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. No, no. What happened, man? You used to be cool. <laughs> Go get your boring normal person drink then. Find booze and drink it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck off. Would go well with those cigarettes. That's a great combination. Fuck you. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sort of good at showing the man's in-brain as it happens. Well, I'm not going to find any booze. I'm not going to drink it. We are not a fiend. I made us specifically to not be a fiend. Sleeping dog worker. A man is sleeping on a table wearing a mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by logo with a tree. Oh yeah. Oh nice. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from the cabin. Carabiner. Maybe makes your fingers itch. Wants us to try and steal it. Uh, on the counter, roll is a handle. You see a blister pack of headache medicine. Spectre piece of plastic. It's a dock worker's ID, doubling as a shift card as a job permit. An able bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. John. I try and wake him up. We're not dick. We fuck it up. You shake, you gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. This man has uh, could probably sleep soundly in the ship's engine room. Pick up pills. Gain magnesium. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Terrell agent, you just picked up medicine. This item is stored in the bottom. Of, yeah. Okay. I ain't stealing shit. This is the first day of our life where we're not a fiend. I've taken over management. I'm new at this. Oh, stuff up there. Inside the the onion paraphernalia, strike post and red pennant sense. Something there, can't ask. Oh, there's per soft per of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Doors bolted, sign reads kitchen reserved for personnel until time hours. I see. Da 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 da. So this then, sign reads mess hall reserved for onion members. Doors open at. Okay. Royal pinball machine is unplugged. Okay. Interface with the woman. Hello, sweetie. Raina, the cryptozoologist's wife. Goddamn. Fucking Bigfoot buying all the graphics asses. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Nods towards the man the orange bomber jacket. Okay, sorry. Kim Kitsu Kitsurugi? A respectable man in an orange uh, bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he you narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting.
Mm. Nej. Medium corp, uh, corp success. If uh, if an assault was were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You're sure of this, but why? On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on uh, on its back, the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Hold on, who is he to me? He is your half brother. This is the police thing, so I'm assuming not actual brother. Shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Maybe. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative, conceptualize. Fucking Inland Empire. I don't really know my name. Okay, then. Processes the information, then discards it. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Hmm. I mean him, not towards the cafeteria manager. Yeah, talk to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Mm -hmm. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <laughs> yes, the police, I'm aware. What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface, prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I haven't done that. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah, what? So the body is still in the tree. Uh, this is the first time you detect weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It's obvious uh, he would have preferred for the body no longer to be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Mm. I can't remember anything, mate. He looks at you for a moment in silence. I can uh, I can see you drank last night and the night before and that you are still drunk now, but I have seen officers go through much worse, much worse. If you need something for your headache, there's a general store nearby, but as I said, the dead body should uh, be your number one concern. Okay. How can you be sure I'm from police? I was sent here to meet a detective from the from precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Points to your jacket. I suppose uh, you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market and forged it. But for now, I'm going to set these possibilities aside. I'm not uh, from the impersonate general. What? White pond. Yeah, and our meat suit. Uh, impersonate general. Uh, internal affairs, and I'm not uh, them. I'm from criminal investigation. Insignia, yeah, these white rectangles, you mean? Yes, he's taking this fairly well that we don't remember shit. But they're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. Rectangles, fuck. They bear the Halligan watermark. With the letters RCM. Uh, and a pattern resembling the street grid of Ravioli West. I would ask you to step into the highlight of my motor carriage. Uh, but then again, it's not my concern. But I just need you to do your job. Okay, shouldn't have badges or something. Check pocket. You mean you don't have a badge? Hey, it was not there when I woke up. Uh, losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. Would advise you locate as quickly as possible, but getting the body down will still take precedence. Okay. Interview man, inspect victim's body. After you, officer. Yeah, we're, we're competent here. Lieutenant uh, Kitsurugi is now in your part. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. What a guy. 
wonder if he has anything to say about our, uh, our room up there. Let me just save on ass. Just in case I fuck something up too bad. The music's weird, it goes away Hello and comes again, back. Sweetie. I see you met up with your colleague. This lady looks sounds like she's asked in there. Fucking expression. Uh, Lieutenant nods politely. Wait, who's sweetie? Our reaction speed made us notice that she said a thing. Does that mean you like me? You are a handsome man, officer, with your moustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. Oh, why tie them? But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. Aww. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained, I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street. But I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rim of her glasses. Uh, she looks up, smiling. Is Lena wacky enough for the motley crew? Hire her on the spot. What? You seem to be in a chair. Yes. How do you like to roll with me? Why? Should... I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. Her eyes follow your movements with some concern. Yes, officer, you look rather dazed, like a stunned fox, but surely things can't be that bad. I thanks so hard, I literally forgot everything. Oh my, she takes a moment to process. You know where we are, right? Whirling Rags Cafeteria, it was on my keys. That's right. <laughs> and where is the Whirling Rags Cafeteria? In Rivalcalon? Yes, indeed. We're in the fine city of Rivalcalon. I don't know anything about it. Tell me about it. Her uh, grey eyes widen. How would I even begin to tell you? Rivalcalon is, uh, is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Rivalcalon is a rare jewel. The city used to be it used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. Mm. There's a pause as she studies your expression. Uh, you look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year it is? Uh, 51. What? That's right, dear how splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Okay. Composure. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there. But now she relaxes her shoulder. Her uh, shoulders. I can tell you this is uh, tell this is taxing for you, so we'll I'll ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Now nah, we were told before we were in fifty one. Uh I don't know about shit. Maybe the radio would have told us or something? Some kind of democracy? Nope, sadly not. Revachol is what's called a special administrative region under the alliance of foreign powers called the coalition. Uh, we have no government of our own. And what democracy we have is, she thinks, market-driven. Uh, if there's no government, how come there are cops? Oh dear, she shakes her head, suddenly very worried. And you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Rochelle, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain that... Uh, to explain the big things to anyone. Half flight was this one again. She's scared now. She's realizing that you really are brain damaged. Uh. 
Yeah, that makes sense. How did I do? You were doing quite well up until the end there. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things, history and places, remembering reality in a word. It's very odd. Sigh, the lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what this uh, world needs. While I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary, so I wouldn't worry that much. Tyrem, who can tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters? Maybe you could ask, he turns to the lieutenant. No, he looks away. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Get a reality lowdown. Of course, she turns to you. Uh, then I don't know. Someone rich, perhaps? Wealthier people are educated? Oh, hello, Rumpus. I thought uh, I don't know where to, you would find a wealthy person in uh, ma ma mayonnaise. Reaction speed, that's a good point. This doesn't look like a rich central. Gotta leave, thank you. Of course, dear, good luck with your case. He gives you a small wave. God damn. Wonder how our ding ding is going. Getting there, get no, we're not anywhere near anything. Got a little pen though. Can't stab myself in the neck with it. I probably would jump as well. A fine little pen. Wait, I forgot to Google it. An eight pen, close in size. It's one that was monkey. Monkey doesn't see. Monkey doesn't doesn't ask type things. Hey, lieutenant. Yes. I think you should know that I don't remember anything. No response, he just arches his brow. I feel like I must repeat this, I don't remember anything, there was heavy drinking involved. No getting drunk. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There's a sudden harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Uh. I'm completely lacking the basic information about even this organization when. Can you help me? Fine, we should get through this day first. Off hours begin at uh, 21 hours. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Thank you. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is the relief. Okay. You seem to be following me. Uh, tell me about the case, actually. Yes. What do you want to know? Why would you say this is a mysterious case? If Tanner considers your react as a question in a moment before answering, no, it's not a particularly mysterious one. Why not? If Tanner shrugs, the deceased is uh, a security guard for a corporation involved in labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put... Uh, pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Uh. Hmm. God damn it, why can't we only pick dumb things? Uh, hmm. Hmm. You can easily become a fiend. I think labor disputes are very mysterious, I guess. Then you're in luck because we're in the midst of a major strike and dock workers' onion. Maybe more than that. The onion clearly wants a uh, peace, not just of the industrial the harbor, but the wild pine corporation itself. Fucking pine. Rhetoric. Uh, 
Is this a strike then? Or the first shots in a worker's crew? I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used by the RCMs present. To the RCMs present, and the onion rarely overplays its hands, as it appears we uh, to have done in this case. Wait, so this. So is this a strike or an attempted coup? Strike coup revolution, it's a. Brigand inch, however you pass it, okay. Uh, you feel something rising through you, a familiar feeling, an option taking form? An opinion, oh god. I spent the last 20 seconds deciding on which side to ground into pig feed. Why? Oh, we actually said that politics is habit forming and hazardous. It's also irrelevant to police work. You're right to doubt the impulse. It might be detrimental to our task here. Conceptualization from an imaginary fan. Which one is this again? Oh. Is there anything else you want to know about the case? We're in different precincts, why we're in the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, he considers the phrasing, a pissing competition. What do you mean? You don't know? His eyes narrow. I assume you were in on it. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia? Better still than an imbecilic cop off. Cop off? Uh, it's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. It seems relevant. Later, his voice is unflinching. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Literally anything. Maybe you tell me what you do know to help narrow down a bit. I know literally nothing about it, only what you've told me before. Do you want me to brief you? Yes, please. A few days ago, at the RCM emergency docks uh, desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanging in a martinez, mayonnaise. An anonymous caller said that there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver has been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify. Oh, time is passing. I'm assuming per dialogue or something. Call did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There's an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I guess, yeah. Uh, I was told we should approach the death as a part of that dispute. Uh, who was the caller? To find uh, him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk couldn't identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? I think it's about 30 seconds per something dialogue here or something, maybe, I don't know. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as onion matters. The dot workers' onion is the de facto police and mayonnaise now. It appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Uh, hold on. And the RCM is? That's us. The Revo Shoal Citizens Militia. Oh, I see. We're the police in the city. Let's make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find a killer. Mm. That's right. Can we go over the poli- uh, Okay. That's all I need for now. All right. Nice. Got some XP. We got quite a few quests here. I'm assuming the timed ones are... Well, this one. Okay, pissing competition. Sin karaoke. Uh -uh. 
Oh, that's nice. It uh, keeps uh, it keeps uh, tabs of the the checks. I can't. I haven't asked, and I can get back to. That's cool. All right, let's go talk to this ass. Man with, an, uh, with the unpressed beard notices you approaching. He drops the lady he was holding and turns to Lieutenant. Mr. Mr. Uh. Garth, right? You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? God damn it. Right. Now... I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? It would be nice if we could uh, check with the manager what our name is. No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. The sound is odd on some of these recordings, like they're sitting in a, not a, a voice studio, like a box or something. And that guy moved around from one channel to the other, saying that. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. This pilot coasters, uh, finds a slip of paper and hands it to the lieutenant. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? Of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Yeah, it's a fine voice acting as well. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here, and I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Hmm. I didn't imply that. Detective? Yes. I have everything. You? I have questions. Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me? Like a police officer would. It's Huffy again. Who killed him? Why'd Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Fine. Extra fine. Exactly, it's the body. Behind the building in the courtyard, he points to the kitchen. They hoisted him up in a tree there. How do we get there? Let's see, you see that door there? What's the west? First, uh, you exit through that, then you're to your right. You see a big hole in the fence, it's a really big one. Get to the courtyard through there, no need for keys, the hole's big enough for the front Kanogiri and cavalry to fit through. Mm -hmm. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him, I'm not the police, that's your job. He doesn't know, he just said they hoisted him up in a tree. Who is they? Oh, a reaction speed is, is assing. Yeah, who is they, mate? Oh, a bit surprised you caught him. People uh, are saying it was the onion duck workers that there was a lynching. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me anyone knows, uh, everyone knows the dock workers did it. Uh, did the D. The Bardiers themselves tell her this, or is it rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would, uh, would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company. I heard a I hear mercenary. The uh, Onionistas probably thought uh, they'd send a message. Did you kill him? That would be a dumb fucking thing to ask. 
That's all. We approach Ding Ding. Not that fast. Face one to you. Yo, me thingy real. <laughs> Sneak away. What is real? Oh, excuse me. Yo, me. You pronounce this the R with a mock so create a static accent. Here we are. The IIR or intersolary real is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume it means you owe him some money. Oh, I understand. Wow, you're a genius, right? That's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 thingy. Points a red ledger on the counter. <laughs> you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> what do I owe this place for? Well, I'm assuming trashing the room. Let's see, he dramatically turns a page in the ledger. Three nights uh, at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60. Then there's the window you annihilated. Uh, the hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work, so don't try to tell me you didn't. There'll be 40 real damages. You're under arrest. God damn it, why do I. Why can't I just go ask? Another thing you annihilate is half the bar. You run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more. But uh, we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining this ability in order of Rachel. 40 plus thingy plus 30. For thingy. Yeah, so real's money. What exactly is money? We'll get philosophical on him because this is just dumb. I don't understand why that's not a, stu not a non stupid thing. What, are you a philosopher? No, I'm just getting my bearing. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things that, like this hostel room, or he peeks into a ledger, or eight bottles of potent blend, nine packs of Royal Expo, we use it for everything, really. <laughs> Interesting, where do I get it from? Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. He looks at Kim. I'm sorry. I don't think cops take bribes. Some uh, do take recompense. They tend to stay serious, but only to survive. Is this money? Yes, it is. Uh, what, what, how much do we have? We have fuck all, don't we? I can't Google my money. I'm assuming that the money is down there. That this is the money. Mm. Okay, yeah, so this is actually a, a full 40, so I can put it down to 90. No, you see, there's this tinge of sadness in his voice. That's 40 cents, oh. A form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take uh, to take this. Come back when you have... Wait, he took it. Okay. He stands silently looking at the coppers on the ca uh, counter. Pick up the coins. Yoink. So what happens now? Turns to the I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money t uh, by tonight, then shrug. Officer, maybe you're better off working this uh, from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Oh, I'm so confused. Fuck this place. Don't remember where my home is. Officer, pattern of crease disappears in the forest. You really need to... Take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Uh, the man wants to say something but thinks better of it. Good luck. Tie them. Fuck. Hmm? By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. This place sure isn't it. Really don't remember. But you've been to this hostel cafeteria for f only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Mm, up on Marvel Hill? Don't know. Near south, maybe? 
don't really know, do you? Uh, I only have a vague blackened image. The vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Mm. Could I trace the way back somehow to the uh, exact street, the exact number on the building? You can try, run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a, a street or an apartment will appear. Hobocop, yeah. Internalize, what the fuck does that do? Oh, I see. Six hours to stand around and think about shit. Okay, cool. The game gets oddly quiet sometimes, it's a bit weird. Alright, let's go see about corpse. Maybe ask the stock worker, still a wobble. Try and wake him up again. Perhaps he's on his way where you came from. Oh, damn it. Yes. It's only one way to wake this uh, bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the building from the earth. I'm the law. What the fuck? Thirty something man slowly lifts its head and gives you a pensive look. Why the yelling man? <laughs> You're live, you looked out for the count there. Wait, what? I was just sleeping. Seems pissed off. What do you want, officer? Uh tell uh Why are you sleeping here while the others are striking? They got it. Uh, Measurehead's got it. He's guarding the gate. I'm just getting some sleep, or was. Who's behind or uh, who's behind organizing the strike? We are the workers, the onion. We know what we need, what's right for us. You mean there's no leader? Okay, I guess there, there's uh, that's also Ebrat, Ebrarat. Uh, he's in charge of the union. He's smart, knows how to negotiate. He's got our back. Uh. Tell me about Wild Pines. What's the name of my employer? I work in logistics. Doesn't sound too enthusiastic about it. How's that going? How's that going? Let's have a big yawn. Then stares at the cafeteria terrace doors. Some fingerprints glisten on the glass. Have you noticed what's going on outside? Hmm. Not sure what you mean. We're in the middle of a strike down at the harbor, trying to force some sense into the executive board of Wild Pines. For one, I could use uh, some more shut eye in the morning. He rubs his eyes and sighs. Right to work, right to sleep, I say. Uh, what about the dead body in the yard? Yeah, what about it? Is she. <laughs> Where? I'm just trying to find out what you know about it. You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch, another falls in a manhole, <laughs> a third gets eaten by stray dogs, he respites. If someone uh, has decided to die on top of a tree, how's that my concern? Mm. Someone has to look into it, looks like that some I'm that someone, tell me what you know. I can tell you that this trouble's ahead. What trouble? You heard what I said, draw your own conclusion, that's all I know, and I prefer to keep it that way. Yeah, I need someone to manhandle a guy out of a manhole. If Santa gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue uh, notebook. Uh, so, Onion people think he was a killer, he thinks. Even sleepy here. This doesn't help a lot, but it's something. Good work, detective. Yeah. Point to a bottle of spirit ass. Indeed, help yourself to some, he blinks. Wait, no, that's empty. Sorry for that, pal. 
See anything interesting in your dreams? Thank God, no. Mm. Mm. That's fine. Uh. And keep waking him up for XP like an asshole. 25 more. Oh, yeah. Let's go outside. In the moonlight. So, apparently, uh, the devs talked about... Uh, some, a lot of this music getting copyright pinned right to shit. So, I'm going to have to chop this video up in about two-hour segments. In case uh, YouTube decides to do the whole... Music's very loud out here now. And still, in case YouTube decides to do the whole uh, blocked in countries thing, rather than anything useful, so I'll have to do that in a few minutes. Now, bolt inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. Oh, score! Rue de Saint Christabel. He was snow melts in the wheel bar. God damn. This music is really weird with the volume. This guy's sitting anything there, what's this? Oh buzz buzzy com, isn't it? Electronic doorbell, the coal box hangs. Uh, I don't mind that. Empty card, what? Google this. Uh, you see a lot of tire tracks and the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Reconstruct the ass. God damn. 28. We can do it. Yes, yes. Fuck. Try again. These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. What kind of vehicle drove through here? Hard to say, your vision is blurred and you are having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. Why am I looking at this? Cop habit, you look at everything. Logic, is this in case related you think? Okay, well our logic shit isn't it? Well... Oh boy, a bin. The letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below. A light above descending. What? Is this where I can sleep? Trash container. Trash container is locked. Sliding lid padlock says whirling in rags. There's something in there. Not necessarily connected to the case, but still fucking weird ass brain. It's just a trash container. Just a trash container. There's no such thing. Interfacing your fingers start to itch. You look at the padlock. Santa, what do you think could be in there? Trash, food, waste from the cafeteria. They lock up uh, these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence too. Then we should open it immediately. Hmm, needs to inspect the lock. How do we, do we get the lock open? Try using a pry bar. That's one of the motor carriage or or. Uh, we could ask for a key from the manager and the thingy. He probably has one. Hmm. Alright then. Yeah, Kuno, fuck him up. Oh, that's the uh, dead Dwayne. How dead is he? Those are some weird legs. I Google. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Kids' ladder is rickety but climbable. Google some splooch. Several footprints in the mud left by work boots anywhere from six to twelve pairs and walk through here. A calculos. Damn it's morale. God damn it, why? What do you think you are? A super detective? You're hung over and these are just dents in the mud. 
Uh, no pattern emerges from the swing or kind of boots. Heavy workers' boots were reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't it something an industrial worker would wear? Lieutenant, have a look. Noted. Takes a note in his notebook. Okay. They call me Oogleford. Alright, I need to chop up the video just quickly. All I'll do is I'll stop the stream and then I'll start it immediately again. Uh, so, uh, just refresh almost instantly. Alright? BRB.